Welcome to another Getting Started with Concrete 5 video. If you haven't already checked out the Intro to Concrete 5 video, that'll give you a little more context as to what we're talking about. Right now, I want to show you how you can group and centralize content with Concrete 5 really easily. So we've got uh, this page. We've got a few uh, just basic pages I've made underneath it, some page two, some page three. Um, let's say we want to put something in the sidebar of all these pages, and maybe we want to put a few things together. Well, one way to do that is something called stacks. So we'll go into stacks and let's add a new one, sidebar stack. These names can be anything. And what a stack is, is really just a collection of blocks. We can go ahead and start adding some blocks to this stack. Uh, we'll have all the same style tools that we would normally have in the content block. And any block that you put in here is gonna have the same exact interface as you would if you're adding it to a page. Um, we'll add a, let's add a navigation. That makes a lot of sense. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll add one more content block. Okay, so now we've made this stack, it's three blocks. And if we go to the website, so now to add that stack, we'll simply put the page in edit mode. And instead of adding a block, we will add a stack. See, there's the list of stacks that we've made. And if we pick the one we just had, it shows right there, hit publish, and we've added that stack to the page. It's a title, navigation, and a little, don't forget the special offer blurb. Uh, so what's really cool about that is if we uh, go back to stacks and we say want to change the order of things, that's reflected right away on our website. Uh, that doesn't get it on the side of every page, however. Uh, these pages are still empty. So in order to do that, what we're going to have to do is go to page types from the dashboard and go into defaults. So this gives us an interface that feels a lot like in context editing, except you can see this is a little different up here. So we'll put this page in edit mode and we'll go to the sidebar and we'll add a stack here and we can pick from the same list. And if we go ahead and publish our edits now, what will happen is any new page that we make following this page type will automatically get this block added to it. Uh, it'll create aliases to those blocks, still a stack, so if I change the order of things, it'll reflect everywhere. Uh, but it's only going to show up on new pages following this page type. If we want to copy this block out to all the existing pages we've made with this page type, we have to click on the block again that we just made and choose Setup on Child Pages. That gives us a list of all the pages that already exist uh, following this page type. And I can auto-select everything. We already put it on Home, so I don't want to add it again to Home. And that's very much why we do that. So we'll hit Save, and that goes out and copies it everywhere. And we'll publish these changes so any new pages will get that stack automatically added. And now, if I come back to the website, See, there it is on our home page, but here it is throughout the rest of the site as well. So those are some very easy ways to centralize and, and group content as larger chunks with Concrete 5. Uh, of course, if you're willing to get into the code, there's a lot of other things that you can do. Uh, but that should certainly get you started and make building really big sites very easy to manage quickly. Yeah.